in the centenary year there are many seva activities which are uh, which have been planned and these seva activities are an opportunity for us to come in and experience the grace in our life and become a medium of that divine grace so uh, what are the activities and what is the structure that is the talk which was going on there are four areas physical locations which i have short listed the first is at shirol near shahapur kasara second is in outskirts of pune in uh, chinchwad the third is in badlapur and the fourth is near panvel so these are the four areas and the first weekend of the month i will be having an activity in shirol the second weekend it will be in pune the third weekend it will be in badlapur and the fourth weekend it will be in panvel washi now in washi on saturdays every saturday i am going to a school so whenever possible i am going to be teaching there and when i cannot be personally present somebody else will be continuing that teaching that teaching in the schools is a week uh, year long project which is there these are the four area these are the timelines and th there there is a medical camp there is a khel kood activity nutrition and fitness for children there is a pratibha samvardhan education and learning for children there is a kshamata samvardhan vocational training and skills development for elder children and there is paryavaran samvardhan improving the ecology so these are the five seva activities which are there and whoever wishes to can join in so that we don't only have to experience it during the mantra booster that we reach out to others and the divine grace comes to us this is an opportunity to actually experience this in our own lives when we selflessly reach out to others in spite of all our limitations the divine grace flows through us that experience needs to be had that is what this satyam shatabdi yog yag is all about experiencing the divine grace and making a transformation in our life let this year be the year of the breakthrough that year when we make the breakthrough in our life and then move and to do that we have a plethora of activities plethora of things which will be going on the entire year there will also be uh, on the first friday of the month there will be a talk on a spiritual subject on the third friday of the month there will be a talk on the upcoming fast and festival because the fasts and festivals in india they are not a religious activity they are a multi dimensional activity wherein you have got multiple you see there are multiple layers to any activity and the base of all of these is yogic practices those of you who have worked with chakra shuddhi and tattva shuddhi will slowly start getting an inkling when we discuss all of that so these fasts and festivals are actually a form of yoga in action how does it work what happens i will be speaking of one festival upcoming festival so if there is a festival coming next say after the third week of the month we will be picking that up so that you can use this knowledge and apply it in your life the fourth weekend of the month is dedicated to satyam yoga conclave gurudev swami satyanand ji he spoke 
about yoga and he has brought out a very vast compendium of information for us to actually understand that and to be able to implement that in our life we need to know about it in detail that is what we will be having in the satyam yoga conclave that is the fourth saturday of the uh, fourth saturday and sunday there will be a session in the morning and in the evening sunday morning sunday evening four sessions every month i have a, chosen a theme and within the theme there will be four topics will be chosen and those topics there will be one discussion one talk from a contemporary point of view one talk of what swami ji has spoken and then there will be a panel discussion so that there is a give and take interaction based on which we can actually take we derive benefit and have clear takeaways in our lives and lastly and most importantly the module of mantra booster will be modified so that every month we will be having a mantra boosters theme and that theme will be in conjunction with the theme of the month let us say that theme which will be discussed in the satyam yoga conclave and the mantra booster will have the mantra chanting and in addition to it there will be certain other practices which will allow us to deepen our understanding and experience of the topic discussed at and every saturday we will be having the pancha mahabhut havan dedicated to improving the environment and we will be having more activities on environment also because that is now very essential given that the covid seems to be making a comeback i am thinking from last two days if there is a need i might bring in another health module to ensure that there is good health for all ones so this is in a nutshell the list of activities which satyam sumiran yog research foundation is conducting as a part of the year long satyam shatabdi yog yag and this is also an invitation for all of you to come in and experience the grace the beauty and the magic of yoga in our lives those of you who would like to join in you can send an email to uh, satyam sumiran or uh, also now we have another uh, one uh, i think it is support at satyam sumiran dot uh, com that is there or you can send a message in the whatsapp you can send me there are multiple ways how you can communicate and feel free some people have been asking me can we share it with others please most certainly do because this is a knowledge which has to be shared with as many people as possible the more people who come to know about this and can implement it in our life that will make a change because as i had said earlier we are at crossroads how we as human humanity collectively take a decision which direction do we go is going to determine how the future civilization will work for the next don't know 5 700000 years of course all of us will be long gone by then but do we make a choice or do we just follow instinctively civilizations which have followed instinctively have perished but civilizations who have made intelligent choices have survived the vedic civilization is known as sanatan sanatan means eternal because it has been making intelligent choices it has faced difficulties but thanks to its intelligent choices it has been able to keep modifying itself to the times 
maintaining the essence it is up to us which aspect of civilization we identify with and that will de determine if we flourish or perish so this is what this entire year is about dedicated to gurudev on his birth centenary trying to make a <coughs> little effort to implement imbibe the teachings which he has taught lived and shown namaskar